We have interfaced with a, a whole calf and the excuse is giving us is that drugs are cheap, have no money when you are selling them from licensed premises. But when you sell them person to person, you earn a lot of money. And when you compare the daily collection from our licensed premises and those who are selling door to door, door to door business is far much better. And that's why they resort to drug walking than having licensed premises. So it is our humble and priority request to you, dear uh, Ugandan, to stay away from our country and stop buying drugs from them. Now the hawkers, we don't know their training, we don't know where how they keep the drugs, and they, therefore if there's any issue with the, with the drug, we cannot trace them. We don't know the quality of their drugs. We don't know how they keep their drugs. So we always enforce that if you don't have any document which allows you to come and display drugs here within the areas of the park, you are not supposed to display them. So what we do as the management of the park, we advise them to go and open up some clinics which are fully registered with National Drugs Authority. Yes. Okay. Now for you, what like you've said, you want to Okay, the things of stamps and everything were recovered from your room. So things of business partner. Officer, what are you asking? Use my handbag. 